Okay, y'all. This verse is so much a part of my heart. And it's a theme verse for my life. And I think about, like, God's Word. And another thing, you know, I was talking about how color is just amazing. When I combine God's Word and color and paint and all this together, these are the paints I'm going to be going through today. But when I combine all this, y'all, it is so incredibly just bliss. I mean, it is like my lifelong, like, if I could have a statement right now and say, okay, the rest of my life, I want to to show the beauty and the hope and the joy and the love and the happiness of God's word and combine it with art. And if I do that until I get to heaven, then I'm going to be so happy. In fact, I think we'll be totally creating in heaven as well. Okay, this is Matthew 5, 14 and 15 from the message version, message Bible. You are here to be light, bringing out the God colors, God colors in the world. And then you think about, well, what are the God colors? Well, they're all in different colors. I mean, I just took these one, for example. And the funny thing was I had these two picked in a bouquet, sitting on, just sitting in a bouquet on my kitchen counter. I took them out because I realized, look at what I, paints I picked out first, the yellow and the pinks and the reds. And so these are the paints I'm going to be talking about. Now, I'm going to go through just these simple paints. So I have light blue permanent. These are basic acrylics. This is really what I paint with most of the time. Primary, because I love these paints. They're not too expensive, but they're not too cheap. I think sometimes a craft paint, if they're not mixed with this paint when you're painting on canvas, it's just a little bit too runny, a little bit too liquidy. I love these paints. Primary yellow, cadmium yellow deep, fluorescent pink, primary red, and titanium white. So these are the paints we're going to be going through and kind of using just as a little step-by-step -step little fun land that we're going to be doing. Again, we are basing it off of this verse, and I think about how we are shining our lights into the world, and the more color and the more wonderful we bring into the world with God's word, oh my goodness, y'all, it is like we are missionaries into the world. We're ministers. We're shining God's light, and what a privilege and what a joy, and to do it with color, like God's colors in the world, then it's extra, extra amazing. So, what I want to show with you to share with you today is how I start my paintings, and why I do it this way. And this really, which was so funny because we talk about God colors in this world. God did not make a black and white world, even though there is black in it and there is white. However, I start at almost every canvas with black. And some of my friends start with red. I mean, there's different, you know, everybody has different styles, but this is how I usually start my canvas. So what I want to do with black, and then we're going to paint on top of it. And I'm just going to show you how magical that is. But first, before we get begin, I'm going to put some white onto my little plate and a little dab of yellow and a little dab of, this is primary yellow, which I love mixing these two yellows together, primary yellow and deep cadmium deep yellow. Okay, y'all, I love this color. I love it. It's fluorescent pink. Now, if you just have it and you mix it with white or just usually... Oh, I love starting with a pink canvas. Emma, I love it that you start with a pink canvas. I did not know that. Okay, that's amazing. And pink, oh my goodness, pink is just so happy. So there's a story. Okay, so then I'm going to have a little bit of blue, and this is light blue permanent. I love it. It's like a sky blue. I'm going to get a little bit more white. I've used so much of these paints. It's like trying to like squeeze the last ounce of paint out of this. I have some bigger tubes. So I really wanted to share with you these little tubes. In fact, some of this in our, our fun Fridays is I want to share with you my favorite art supplies. I mean, there's so many things I want to share with you, but um, for today, for this fun Friday, so we have these paints and then I'm just going to use one paintbrush. Just make it very simple. Size 11. I have links and stuff. I have links to all this that I will share. In fact, I will have, um, it's really fun because this is going to get, going to go on YouTube these Facebook Lives, and I'm going to have a blog with all the supplies on it, so you'll have all that, and can't forget to bring over my pink and put that over there. Okay, so what I want to show you is I start with a black canvas. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot to tell you that we have to have black. Okay, so I'm going to just put a little dab of black right here. <laughs> this is just to show you how I start. So I'm just going to paint, this is a and this is if you just want to play around and you're like, well, I don't have a canvas in front of me. That's totally fine. I'm just truly getting a piece of mixed media. It could be cardstock, a little bit heavier paper. It could be just regular paper. 
It could be cardboard. You could just go into your pantry and find, or your cupboard, and just find some cardboard and cut it out of, you know, a cereal box, cut some cardboard. I mean, I've done that before, and I have so much fun doing that. Painting cereal boxes can be a lot of fun. And so here we are. So here is the black. And that's really how I start. And there's a re and again, there's a reason to it. And there's a reason I paint black. And then I think about my life and think about life in general. And there's so much, so much symbolism of having a black canvas and then layering on these bright, bright colors. And what a difference it makes. Again, bringing out the God colors, except I bring out, like here I am with a black canvas. But if you see, I'm going to show you one of my prints. This is a star. I'm a God made, I'm a God made girl creating a magical, colorful world. Y'all, this statement I made truly inspired from Matthew 5, 15, 14 and 15, actually going into 16. It's the message version. I was truly inspired to make this statement from that because I was really declaring and it was a through a dark time, like a really kind of sad time in my life of like, it was, and it was February. On top of that, I think it was like the end of January, start of February. It was dark outside. Everything was brown. And I was just thinking, oh my goodness. And we moved into this house where there's no color in it. And I just realized, I'm like, I have to add so much color to this house or my soul is going to shrivel. So I really started experimenting just with adding as much color. But also I would walk around my house daily and, and read and actually say this out loud. Like I would say, I am a God made girl. Like I am God's daughter. It's declaring this. It's not just saying, oh, I think I am. It's like, no, we're God made girls creating a magical, colorful world. And I say this a lot in my art club, my online art club, which is called God made girl club. And it, everything formed really from Matthew, again, Matthew five and from God just speaking to me and whispering and saying, Hey, um, putting like almost, it's not almost, but truly seeds in my heart of starting an online art club that combined God's word and art together. And it, and on paper, when I was writing it down, trying to explain it to friends, they're like, what are you doing? And I would try to explain it. But then now four years down the road and got my girl club, it's like, oh, you know, this is what we're doing. We're creating magical and colorful worlds. And I would just love to share with you this way of thinking and and just how, and I'm going to rinse out my brush. Sometimes I'm going to show you like a little secret. Oh my goodness, Tracy, I feel the same way. GMGC, which means God Made Girl Club, is one of the most beautiful, fun gifts of my entire life. Tracy, that means so much. And you know what? I feel like that too. In fact, I'm going to show y'all a snippet of what I've been working on in God Made Girl Club so y'all can see because I have had so much fun today working on this. In fact, I'm looking... I'm looking for a rag, and this is my rag that I'm going to use. I thought I had some really clean paper towels, but I don't. So I'll just use this rag to, to rinse out because that's a big thing. I never want to use, like, black paint when I'm trying new paint or, like, starting with new paint. So I have two cups of water, and usually when I'm painting, I have, like, the clean cup of water and then or a big pitcher of water, and then I have my black paint water because I don't like mixing other paints in there. Okay, I'm about to share with you what I've been creating. And this is kind of going to inspire us for today because I, what I want to do is chalk out a star. And and, I'm, and I just want to show you how simple it is to chalk it out, which we're going to use some chalk, just simple chalk right here. That's one of the other supplies. So really, it's just, it could be on a piece of paper that you're painting this on, and then size 11 brush, a piece of chalk, and then some paints. And that's it. That's what we're doing. And this is my little tutorial. But I want to show you. Um, okay, so I made, I painted, we're painting on clothing in September, and this is the preview. I made this on the back of my jacket, and it's a star, and it says, I'm a God made girl creating a magical, colorful world. And then I wrote all these fun things into it, joy and love, permission slip, fun, peace, dream, wonky. I mean, there's so many things. Zephaniah 317, one of my favorite verses, art, play, paint happy. I mean, I had so much fun making this, and... So anyway, I haven't finished it. I've got to do the front of it today. But anyway, I just want to show you it all started on a black background. And y'all, it's amazing painting on like cottony canvas type of jacket. I mean, I had so much fun doing it. So that's what I painted today. And what we're going to do is today we are going to paint a star. And we're going to draw a star, a very simple wonky star. Do, do, do. And that's what we're going to do. Simply a star. And I'm going to get some yellow paint. And I'm going to show you, this is what I love doing. 
And I love painting. When I'm painting a star or anything, I do it so gently. It's I always share like when I'm teaching art that you put your paintbrush on the canvas and just practice first if you've never done it very much. I always like to mix white in because it cut it helps cover up the black background. If you don't add the white, you have to add layers to cover up the black the black background. But you just kind of it's almost like a rhythm and you have to just kind of get used to it of just the more you just paint and add the little layers of paint around and around you go. And that's kind of, and it's very, it's really truly like a feather, like barely, almost like barely. If you're just experimenting with painting for the first time and you're like, I'm going to try to draw a star then, and this is a wonky star. I mean, literally it's like one, two, three, four, five pointed star. That side is way bigger than that side. But I think wonky stars are the best stars. Oh, hello, Carol. Hello, hello. Oh, my goodness. So, the wonky stars are the best stars. And so, I just wanted to make the star and show you, look how that yellow pops out of the black. I mean, it truly pops out. And then, I get a paint-dried pen, and you can use this too, and you draw into the paint, and it's like an illustration. It's so much fun to do. So, there is my wonky star. And then I'm gonna put shine in the middle of it. I'm just gonna write shine. And then maybe make some stars inside of it. So that is, and this is where, you know, I have a paint dry tip. And I teach more about this in my online art club, but this is kind of like just a simple version of making something really fun that you see all the colors. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of the primary red, the fluorescent pink, and the white. And it makes such a pretty pink. I just love it. And guess what? We are going to cover this all. I think I probably need some more white. And that's what we're going to do. This is what we're doing. We're just painting. But what I want to share with y'all as I'm adding this to, adding these colors. I'm going to get my big white, to my big white too, because I think I need more white. I use so much white for every like tube of paint that I buy. I usually buy, I buy a lot of white paint because it's such a great addition. And again, when you're painting on black, it helps cover up that black. And see how I'm not even going up to the star? And if y'all have taken my workshops or in God Made Girl Club, you hear like, okay, I always let that black kind of show through. And that's how I start. That's really truly how I start. So I'm just painting around. And y'all, having a paintbrush with paint in my hand, it's like one of my happiest. I don't know, it just makes me so happy. Just painting with paint and going around on canvas, color, covering up the black. But this is where, this is the story I wanna share with y'all, is just with all this and the whole premise of you start with a black, you know, here I was painting black. When we think about our lives and think about the things that have been hard, if we wrote down everything, you know, or you may be walking through something really hard right now, and you're thinking, oh my goodness, the darkness, the sadness, it's like a black canvas. But when you add the colors to that black, look at this. If we didn't have that black on the background, I don't think these colors would shine out as much. I think the black gives, it gives it the depth. It gives it that richness. It gives it that, it, give, it provides the story of this painting to shine. And here we are. I mean, and that's what darkness, and we think, you know, the sorrow. But you know what? How God uses sorrow in our life or the heart or the hard days or the problems or the hard year or the suffering, the loss, the loneliness, the brokenness. God uses all that because he, when we, and then life, you know, and also there's seasons, there's dark seasons, there's sorrowful seasons. They don't last forever. And then when we are seeing the joy and it, it can be simply, the joy can be simply just walking outside, like looking outside and saying, Oh my goodness, thank you, God, for this yellow zinnia. That is where the colors come out, and it makes life richer and deeper and more wonderful because I think if we didn't have the heart, we wouldn't appreciate God's wonderland and nature as much. I mean, I think through my hardest times and seasons, I appreciate, I go deeper with just listening to the bird song. And I'll never forget when my dad was in the hospital after he, he suffered a severe brain injury. I'll never forget looking outside because I was living in the hospital, sleeping there day and night. 
And I remember walking outside of the hospital, looking up in the sky and just thanking God for the blue sky and the white clouds. I mean, that's, I mean, that's all I could do at that moment. It's like, thank you, God, because you are right here. Um, okay, so if y'all have questions, let me know. But this is just a simple tutorial of a yellow star and the pink background, which is primary red, fluorescent pink, and white. And now, you may be wondering, what's this blue over here doing? Well, let's just take the blue and do something with it. <laughs> I love adding little snippets of blue. I even add snippets of blue to skin tones because when you look at our skin, we have like the blue undertone. And it took me like, a lot of times I've just studied paintings, you know, and people have asked me before, like, how did you get your style? How did you figure out, you know, what you wanted to paint? I really just um, looked at people's style and just found what I loved in like five different artists. And I looked at Van Gogh, I looked at Matisse, I looked at artists in galleries, like artists in the present. And then I just kind of made my own style. And that's the way... It's so fun to do that because then you can kind of throw it into, you can take all these different things from what people do. Like, I remember looking at Matisse's trees and going, oh my goodness, his tree trunk is purple and pink. And then I thought, oh my goodness, I can make a purple and pink tree, tree trunk. And so there we have it. We have shine. I'm, and then thinking about what does shine mean and shining out God's colors in this world. Let me get my verse. So I hope this like encourages y'all. Like we are here to be like bringing out the God colors in this world. As we're painting onto a black canvas and even in our life, it's like, thank you God for that blessing of sorrow because God is going to use it. God is going to use it. He's going to redeem it, redeem it. And we're going to grow through it and we can shine even brighter. And that's what I want my life to be like. I want to shine bright all for God's glory. It's all for him. And so... I'm going to turn this around, and if y'all have questions, oh, Susan, thank you. So happy to see you here, and I'm going to turn this around, so do 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 hello. Oh, it's getting sunny outside. I mean, the sun is shining through. Okay, so here's the shine. I know it's going to be backwards, but um, oh my goodness, it's just fun to share with y'all because just sharing about the, the simplicity of painting techniques, and sometimes I think when I first started painting, I was thinking, oh my goodness, this is so hard. But then I was reading books about just, hey, just let go. Paint with mistakes. And that's what gave me the freedom is embracing the wonky. Embracing the mistakes because, again, see mistakes. I mean, see perfection on a piece of paper that you literally write. We probably should do this sometime. Write perfection on a sheet of paper. Crumple it all up and throw it. Like, literally throw it. I think we're going to do that as an exercise sometime because we just have to embrace the wonky. I like, look, my hair is wonky. Um, I have freckles. I have wrinkles. It's like, it's okay. Like, you know what? We just have freedom and being wonky. And so, oh, Diane, it's so fun to see you here. Art and scripture, truth. Yes. Yay and yes. That is, it is my heart. Truly to shine as much as I can, as long as God gives me life here on this earth, color and wonder, God's word and art, and put all that together it is bliss, and it is, and, and that's not to say I live on a cotton can, candy cloud, because I don't, because there are problems literally every day that I walk through, but it's the perspective. It's looking at Jesus and going, okay, God, help me. In fact, my friend the other day, she was like, you know, sometimes I just lay in bed and just go, help, and she's like, because God knows. God knows exactly what I need. I can just say help. He knows. We don't have to spell it out. I mean, sometimes we just go into, we need to spell it out. We need to just like, God, please hold this. But when we go into this and say, you know what? We're here to be like bringing out the God colors in this world. And then the next verse is, God is not a secret to be kept. We're going public with this. We're going public with this. Like, I'm not going to hide this under a bushel. I want to share this as much as I can. And so, thank you all for being here. Lucy, thank you for being here. Yes, God is so good. And he cares for us so much. And I think, you know, he didn't have to give us the zinnias. He didn't have to give us cotton candy colors. He did not have to do that, but he did in his graciousness and his love and the imagination that he has and all the colors that he's given us and the creations of the animals. The other day I saw on Instagram this mallard, um, I think it was a mallard, it was a duck. It was a mandarin, a mandarin duck. Oh my goodness, y'all, the colors were, it blew me away. I'm like, I can't believe God just created, I mean, I can't believe God created this. Like, and I just recognize it for the first time. There's so many creations of God that we probably have never even, I mean, obviously never seen that God's color and wonder and 
patterns of how he puts it on animals and how he creates us humans, like, and how much he loves us. And so I hope this, I know this is going to be backwards, but I hope this star, simple star painting can just brighten up your heart today. Put a little skip in your step. And thank y'all for being here. I